Friends, just a quick one. There is G7 summit going on in Italy and uh, the Pope met with the world leaders at the summit. All right, so let us look at how the Pope was welcomed by the world leaders. This shows that there is a kind of strong unity among them. All right, so let's watch it. So, this is the Pope, and uh, he is being welcomed by the world leaders. So, let's watch this. That was a hug. And that is Joe Biden. So this is how the world leaders are welcoming the Pope. And according to information, he was going to give a talk about artificial intelligence. That is the ethics of artificial intelligence. So that is Pope Francis. He's being welcomed by the world leaders at the summit. All right, I think this is the president of India welcoming the Pope. And I can see the president of Kenya over there. So, friends, that was how the world leaders welcomed the Pope. And uh, he was going to talk to them about artificial intelligence. So, um, the report that we received from... Uh, various news articles says that the pope spoke about the ethics of artificial intelligence and after the meeting with the world leaders the pope met privately with joe biden that is the president of the united states and this was reported by the catholic news agency and when the Pope met with the President of the United States, he discussed with him climate change and foreign policy. You know, wherever the Pope goes, climate change is one of his main topics, all right? And uh, we already know that the Pope is pushing for climate action. We have been seeing a lot of groups and a lot of activities being done to promote a day of rest all right for the earth and uh, this is championed by vatican all right so friends as i said this was just a quick one and uh, revelation chapter 17 verse 13 and 14 says these are of one mind and they will give their power and authority to the beast these will make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them. For he is the Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and uh, those who are with him are called chosen and faithful. Friends, we need to keep sharing the gospel and uh, the three angels' messages. So friends, as I said, this was just a quick one, and uh, 
I'm going to update you on some important things that will happen over there as you all know i share with you events that are taking place within and outside of the church to help you understand what is really going on and also to help you know the times in which we are and prepare for the second coming of christ thank you for watching friends my name is lawrence and see you next time